So video editing is not really something that you can master in a day or even in a month and in some cases even in a year. It's a process about learning a software, learning their shortcuts, learning how to edit and learning how to put it all together through the means of one or more softwares. Now softwares are complicated as they get when you start as a beginner and one of the most important subjects that I wish someone would have educated me on was on how to edit videos as a beginner on a software that is not too high end but not too low end either. In today's video we are covering exactly that. On that note, what's up guys and we're here welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're talking about hands down probably the best video editing software which is for beginners. With that being said, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. I love that I don't know your name. Okay guys, so all of us want to edit good videos, however, you must have some basic uh, idea of how to record a video or how do you actually go ahead with video editing before you've used any software like After Effects or Final Cut and it can be really intimidating because it had been the same for me for the past 4 years. So today we're talking about a software which is probably the best video editor alternative compared to Windows Maker and iMovie. We are obviously talking about Filmora by Wondershare, a lot of you must have heard about it it. A lot of you must have used it, a lot of you must have never heard about it, so don't worry, today I'm explaining everything. The great guys at Wondershare, a huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video as well. So the first thing that you guys need to do is head to the first link in the description below and uh, it will take you to this website which is their official uh, Filmora website. Over here, you can see a couple of key features that the best video editor uh, alternative to Windows Movie Maker and iMovie has. You can download it for free either for Mac or for Windows. Uh, you can uh, use a lot of features that a lot of pro video editing softwares have such as 4K support, noise removal, picture in picture mode, controlling the speed, adding GIFs or GIFs, frame by frame previews, audio separation and stuff like that. It also has its own title library, music library, filter library and all of that good stuff and if I talk about every single feature this would be a very long video. It also gives you an option to select LUT for uh, crying out loud and it supports a wide variety of formats but let's not get into the technicalities right now and let's just go ahead and click on the free download button. Now I've already done it so we're going to be switching to the software next so all you need to do once it has downloaded is install it up and open it right now. Now when you open it this is the first option that you're going to get. You can either select the project aspect ratio to a 16 by 9 classic feed to a 4 by 3 feed to a 1 by 1 if you're editing an Instagram video or if you're doing IGTV or anything that is portrait, you can select a 9 by 16. I love how all of these are already there. You just need to select uh, the type of aspect ratio that you're editing the video at and get started. So once you've figured this out, you're going to hit on create new movie and it's going to open up the video editing uh, palette or the timeline. Now we're just going to hit on full screen and I'm going to explain every single part of this page so don't worry you won't be confused at all. So the left side of the screen is what we call the project bin. Now over here you can add or import footages. Now as you can see I've already imported three kind of footages on my project bin and as you click on them you can see a preview on the right side which is basically the preview video player where everything that you edit you can see it in real time over here. Now this entire bottom bottom space that you see which has all of these tracks for audio, video and text respectively is your editing timeline where you sit and actually perform the edits. Now Wondershare or Filmora also has uh, this taskbar kind of a thing on the left where you can cycle between uh, your media bin uh, to their inbuilt music library which you can download and it has a very uh, different categories and stuff like that so you can select anything from a sound effects to a music audio uh, you know tune. You can also go to titles and overlays and add openers, titles, lower thirds, credits and whatnot. All of this is so simply done that even a child could easily pick one of this, drag it to the timeline and you know uh, actually end up using it. So what you want to do is once you've done that, there is also a filter place where you can add different kind of filters, 
everything from distortion to black and white to lomography and really it is something that you need to explore on your own. You also have overlays which are basically light leaks and cinematic bokehs and stuff like that. You can use them if you want to and you also have different elements such as emojis and just arrows and you know split screen features like that. Now, now that we've covered everything that you can use out of the box, uh, we're going to focus on the project bin and what we're going to do is drag one of the footages. So now you can see we have all the different kinds of footages and you can preview it over here by clicking on the play button. It's going to quickly scrub through uh, the footage and you can scrub through it frame by frame if you want. In order to import a footage, all you need to do is click on it and drag it to the video timeline. Now this is the video timeline and over here is where you can make actual changes. So whether you want to crop a video which is by clicking on the edges of the video and cropping it to a certain distance or you want to move it around to different places in the timeline, you can do that. Now keep an eye on these other buttons that are on top of the timeline, everything from uh, media import to recording the screen or adding a voiceover in real time while you're editing is really possible in these video editing softwares which is in my point of view absolutely amazing you can also click on the sound icon and the audio mixer which is basically letting you adjust the left and right channels of the tracks respectively so whether you want the audio of the clip to be completely zero and add a background music you can do that or you can just control the entire audio of the video by using the master controller here so we're going to add a little bit of more footages we're going to add both of these footages to the timeline and we're going to see how it actually ends up looking after a while that we do it so let's say i want to transition from this part to this part i'm just going to select it crop it from here and add uh, the software or the clip on the next side now what we want to do is add a transition in between so we can simply go to the transition areas select basic motion or whichever you want I'm just going to add a simple fade or a fade from grayscale over here because you can also click on one of the you know uh, transitions and see how it actually is going to look so this looks pretty cool so all you need to do is click on it and drag on it and add it in the middle and there you go your transition has been added you can also click and you know shorten it if you want to uh, so it's going to shorten the amount of transition that you have so now if we play it check it out it looks something like this so it transitions into the field and you can also click on the lender time black for you know smooth playback so it just uh, renders the preview so it can be easy now this depends upon your computer speed and stuff like that but all in all it's very much usable so I'm just gonna select the transition in the lowest way possible so we can use it and it looks pretty good and you can also add an audio as we spoke about earlier anything from a music to a song it's gonna appear in the audio tile and you can sync everything very very easily and I think this is one of those video editing softwares that anybody can use out of the box just by looking at it and how simple it is just makes things so much easier now if you're satisfied with your edit all you need to do is hit on the export icon now I'm not gonna do that right now so what you can do is click on the full screen and you can look at the entire video uh, when you want to so you just want to hit on exit again and once you're done you can watch the entire video now you also have this settings panel where you can add a pitch in or a fade in or a fade out in the audio it is so simple to use just to remove background noise all you need to do is hit on click background noise and you can add it to either mid or to strong and really a video editing software like this that is that basic however still effective is really one of those things that you don't get to see every day so if you're looking for a video editing software and you're just starting out and you don't want to use premiere pro because you want to learn how to use these softwares first I think that Filmora should be the way to go no matter which uh, uh, you know OS you are using right now. So once you're done you can just hit on this export button and you are free to export it without any watermarks and stuff like that. It is super simple and intuitive to do and uh, well there you go that was your first uh, class let's call it a class for video editing using a beautiful software called Wondershare Filmora. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already used it and already know about this. For those that don't, now you do. Uh, make sure you download it from the link in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And well guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, feel free to drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out Wondershare and Filmora. Super great software, super great guys who sponsored today's episode. Uh, with that said, be sure to 
people follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. A new content is being posted almost every week over there, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Now that some crazier things are coming up on the channel, you'll see them if you're subscribed and if the bell icon is already clicked by you. Uh, with that being said, this is Anwar signing out. I'll go make some more videos, uh, change some more setups. Uh, with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Peace out. Yeah.